Hello my Clawsome Possum Fur Babes. Thank you so much for coming to fang out with me today. <laughs> First off I have to say um, check out these new hand paws which I got from Scoper Monster. Oh my goodness her creations are fabulous. I've been waiting years to literally get a hold of some of her custom paws. These are so adorable. Oh my gosh, like, look how floofy <laughs> these paws she did are actually inspired by Lisa Frank. <laughs> Cooler bear vibes. <laughs> but see, I'm going to use them for my um, fursona, which is a pastel kawaii samoyede. <laughs> and see these claws, oh my gosh. So they're like a really cool iridescent, holographic, just all of the love. And then you can see in the fur it's actually got silver like tinsel through it. So cute! <laughs> I thought they were totally fitting for the video today. But I will link down below <laughs> Scoper Monsters. Oh my gosh, I just feel so cute with these paws. <laughs> But yeah, I will put Scoper Monsters link down below. So if you wanted to check out some of these super rad paws, you totally can. But yeah, today I actually am wearing these ears, which I made myself from Inekune Creations in this cute little color. Yeah, I don't know, I was just feeling blue. This is one of my favorite hoodies I actually got from... Um, sex Pot Revenge when I was in Osaka in Japan. Such a cool hoodie. Check out the design on the back if you can see. All the cute little animals on the back. But today what I've come to you to do is actually review two boxes which I have received from Tracy. But yeah, Tracy actually is a store which sells nail accessories and makes really cool, colorful press on nails. I've never ordered from them before, but <laughs> I've always had them on my wish list. So when I saw they were having a sale, I just had to place an order. So with the sale, if you bought two pairs of nails, you would get like a nail tool or an accessory for free. So I'll show you what I got. Um, the reason I placed two orders is because I noticed there was some sort of weird glitch on the website. Even though I've bought four pairs of nails, it wasn't going to give me the second like tool or nail accessory for free. So I had to place in two separate orders, which was really like, a little bit annoying just because um, I had to pay for shipping both times, which was like, I think, eight or ten dollars. I mean, I'll put the um, cost of shipping on the screen somewhere, as well as the cost of all of the items. As you can see, oh, um, she has her custom tissue paper, which says Trey She on it, and then a sun wrap. I don't know which box is which, so it's going to be a total surprise. Oh! So, these ones here, Lunar Dust Extra Long Coffin Nails. Oh my goodness, I just noticed the artwork on the back is actually designed by um, a artist here in Australia. Her name's Bay Bad Girl. That's one of her little art little little chicks that she draws. That's so cute. The case is really nice too. It's got like a little um, magnet flap here so you can keep them and store them in. And when I lift out the nails on top, underneath we've got our other set. There's a little nail file and cuticle pusher and then spare nails. It says she sells 24 in a pack. But yeah, it actually comes with nail glue and then underneath there are also some little 
nail tab stickers and then some little alcohol wipes just to get the stickiness off your nail so the nails will stick better. But yeah, I'm not going to take apart every single nail case because I reckon they're all going to be the same and I bought four sets of nails. One pair, which is super special, going to be for a giveaway. So if you guys want to um, get your very own pair of Trishy nails, keep watching because I'm going to be doing a giveaway maybe next week. I don't know. Stay tuned. <laughs> so the next pair of nails which I bought, these ones are called um, <laughs> Thong Song. So they're kind of like a really cool matte like oh 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 I just dropped them all no tragedy I think I lost one yeah well that's unfortunate oh wait no I found it oh they're like a matte sort of like that smoky glass purple look try to hold them up so you can see okay. But yeah, these nails come in another little bag. These would match my outfit today actually. Let me see if I can hold one up. Almost want to put them on, but I've already got my nails done. <laughs> So the accessory which I ordered, I got this for free, it's actually a little file. So you can use this to sort of like take off any old glue when you remove your nails so you can reuse them easier and like if they get really dull, you can actually use this to sharpen them again. So here's the little drill in here and I assume those are the different like attachment heads. I think this is battery. I don't know but see you've got the little buffer and then the little files I'm sure I'll figure it out yeah I think I don't know how to charge it but we will figure that out oh it says all the instructions on the back so the power switch oh the battery goes inside I thought it was expecting it to have like a cutout on the back but the lid actually comes off that makes sense So the next box, I guess this will have to be the set which I actually bought two of because I'm going to give away a pair to one of my subscribers. I'm actually making a little gift box of some makeup and other things. So this is what I'll be giving away. So I've got two pairs of these Y2K baby <laughs> um, Trace she instant acrylic nails let me show you they're like the prettiest baby pink coffin nail oh my god it literally looks like diamonds my goodness yes so excited to try these it literally looks like baby pink diamonds such a mood oh my goodness and the next little thing which I got is the trace sheet thirsty dehydrator so this you put on your nail before you put like any nail glue or anything like gel polish and stuff um, this is going to make the fake nail stick on your nail better if you use the dehydrator because this is just going to get all the extra oil and nasty dirt and stuff off your nail. So the bottle looks like this. It's like a pastel pink. And I'll let you know how I go with that. Usually at the nail salon, the nail dehydrators, they use like they tingle a little bit. So I'll let you know if I have any burning sensation or anything like that. And what I'm going to do 
I am going to pop off these nails that I'm wearing and when I get back I'm going to show you how I prep my nail and file it and everything to get ready to stick on my Trishy nail and I will show you the full process. So if you would like to see that, please stay tuned. Okay, so I've taken off my nail, so I'm going to show you how I start from scratch and prep my nail to be ready for my new press-on nail to go on top of. Today we're going to be using the Y2K Baby, which are these beautiful pastel pink glittery press-on nails from Tracy. So cute. I figured since I haven't had super long nails in a long time, I would start with the shorter ones and then work my way up to the XXX extra long later on. <laughs> so this pack comes with the glue and also little plastic nail tabs so you can use the nail tabs if you just want to keep them on for one day or just like a night if you have a performance like um, they're really easy to remove I mean as you'll see I do one hand with the sticky nail tabs and then one hand with the nail glue so what I'm doing here I'm sizing up my nails to make sure they fit so previously I actually Instagram message Tracy and I was like I have a really big fat thumbnail and a lot of nails will not are not big enough to fit on my thumb so Tracy was saying that in the original long nails like the Y2K baby the thumbnail is not as big but in the XXX long ones like the pack you'll see here they're a little bit longer so I tested this theory just to see if this was the truth and lo and behold you will see that the thumbnail in the extra long nail pack is a lot bigger. So if you don't have the same concern as me where your thumbnail is really really wide this may not um, be an issue to you but yeah that is one thing that's discouraged me from buying press on nails and why I do my own most of the time. But to be honest, I was pleasantly surprised because even when I tried the Y2K Baby on, they weren't too small. And these ones here, which are that little bit bigger, like, I can hardly tell the difference. They are a little bit bigger though, like you can see the sides of my nails, they don't have a gap or anything. In the Y2K Baby, my thumbnail does have a little bit of a gap. But yeah, if you have small nails, this isn't something... You you'll need to worry about. So as you'll see what I'm doing here, I'm actually pairing up all the nails from smallest to largest. Because these sets, they actually include a ton of nails and you'll see here, I just realized they are numbered so that will make it a But yeah, I was just really curious to see the Y2K baby nails next to the XXX long nails just because Tracy was telling me that the thumbnail in the extra long ones are a lot bigger so I just wanted to test out and make sure that was like factual but yeah if you haven't got like super big fingers then you should probably be okay. And even if you do I mean they fit my thumbnail so maybe they'll fit yours as well. And for the exact measurements in my inbox, Tracy said our ultra long nails are a slightly larger fit than the ballerina ones. The largest ultra long would be approximately 14 millimeters wide. So what you can do, you can always take a ruler or a tape measure and measure the width of your nail. So from side to side, and see how far your nail spans across your finger. Thank you. 
but yeah. Now I'm just going to take you into a close-up of these gorgeous claws. Oh, how stunning are these sparkles. Literally, I gag. So beautiful. Okay, so I've already cut off my cuticles, so when you don't have dead skin stuck to the cuticle of your finger, just because the nail glue isn't going to want to stick to the skin, so I've already cut them off. Uh, see, as you can see, this nail file, I was totally unimpressed with it. It wasn't smoothing my nails enough, so I whipped out my old faithful Tropical Shine nail brush. I think the only place I could find these are from Hair House Warehouse. As you can see, my pointer finger um, got a little bit stabby with my nail cutter, so it's bleeding a little bit. So what I'm going to do, I'm going, after I file my natural nails, I'm going to take this little alcohol wipe. Oh, as you see, I'm getting blood everywhere because I nicked my finger before super gross but when you use this alcohol wipe what it does it takes any excess oil off of your nails and just makes your fake, fake nail stick better so here we've got the Tracy thirsty nail dehydrator and what Tracy recommends is that you apply this after you have filed and prepped your nails already so that's exactly what I'm going to do. So before I apply my nail glue, I'm going to do a little bit of this thirsty nail dehydrator on each hand. And this one, honestly, it didn't give me any tingling effect or anything like that. Maybe it's not as strong as some of the ones that they use at the professional salons. I mean, if anyone else has an idea why they may not have like been tingly, here's the ingredients list so you can break it down for me if you know a little bit more than I do. But yeah, honestly, this one didn't sting my skin or nail at all. It was very gentle. Kind of smells like bubblegum too. I really liked it. So here I've got these little nail tabs and I've never used these before. I mean, okay, maybe when I was a teenager I did a couple times from just the really cheapy ones that I got from Daiso. But a friend of mine actually recommended these are what he uses for drag. So because he works at Sephora like I do, we're not allowed to have super long nails at Sephora. So he finds it super convenient that he can just take them on and off like it's a night. But for me, to be completely honest with you, these did not last me like a couple hours. And I'd like to say I'm pretty, like, I don't know, I'm not super rough on my nails or anything. Like, I was just at home. I wasn't even doing anything. So, yeah, a little bit disappointed in that. For me personally, I would always use the nail glue if I am wearing these nails. That is what I would recommend. But I'm going to show you how I apply my little sticky tabs anyways. So I'm going to do my sticky tabs on the left hand and then the nail glue on the right hand. So here we go. I'm just sizing up now which nail fits best on each finger. So there's our big thumbnail. <laughs> Hopefully I can find a sticky tab which will fit because, I mean, that was one of the things that I always get made fun of for in school, like primary school kids would always tease me and say I had a big fat thumb, call me toe thumb, but you know what? I don't care. I love my toe thumb. 
my Aunt Kay. She is so proud of her toe thumbs that I heredited, wait, heredited? Inherited from her. And then my Grandpa Ernie, which is her brother, he only had one. So see, at least both of my thumbs look the same. <laughs> That's because we're special. But see, I don't know if you guys knew or not, but Megan Fox, she's the most beautiful woman ever. And she has a toe thumb, like, and she is, like, so beautiful. And there are so many people just, like, hating on her on the internet. They're like, oh my god, your thumbs are so ugly. And I'm like, yeah, okay, but it's freaking Megan Fox. Oh my gosh, get real. So here I put all the extra nails just back into my little box. So if I need any, if I lose one, I'll always have some for later. But yeah, hopefully I've got a nail tab here which fits my nail. I found that this extra large one, this is the biggest one, it fit pretty well to be honest. So see, so you stick that part to your nail and then the other little sticker peels off. And that's the part which will stick to the fake nail. So you'll see me here as I peel off very carefully because you don't want to peel off the bottom part of the sticker, just the top sheet, sort of like this little protective layer. And just hold that on there for a few seconds so it sticks. But see, because my little my little toe thumbs are so short, <laughs> I had to use my little cuticle pusher stick that they gave me in the little kit, which is good. I tried using this to actually push my cuticles and like sort of, you know, it didn't work. I had to use my nail, my little cutting tool to cut them off. But yeah, it could work for some people. But yeah, for me, I just prefer a smoother, smoother cut. I'm just trying to be careful with this little guy. This was the nail that I ended up cutting. You can see a little bit of blood. Ah! But yeah, on the topic of Megan Fox, did you guys know she is dating MGK? I mean, his latest album is like pretty fire. I know, I know that might be old news to some people because it released like what the end of. 2020 or maybe even 2019 heck I don't know but I literally for the first time just listened to his whole album from start to finish and I was like man it's so good like there's even a feature from Burt McCracken from the used on there and I was like what are you kidding me and like I mean Travis Barker who's he dating is it Khloe Kardashian I think he's dating Khloe Kardashian I saw where MGK is dating Megan Fox and he went on a double date with Travis Barker and let me google it real quick yeah oh Courtney Courtney Kardashian is dating Travis Barker not Chloe my bad but yeah I just thought that was interesting but yeah here you can see I'm moving on to my other hand and I am just putting some nail glue on. Honestly, normally I only use the Nailing brand nail glue that I can get from Woolworths, but this nail glue is pretty good too. I don't have any issues with it. Some of the nail glues that I've tried are really, really weak, but to be honest, this one lasted pretty well. Just the nail tabs, they didn't quite work for me. So. That is they say is that. I'm just gonna speed up through this process so you can see I get on all my sparkly claws.
Okay guys, so I just wanted to report back on one thing. If you can see my nails, you will see they are no longer baby pink. They are actually purple. So last night I ended up having my friend dye my hair and when I rinsed out the dye, I used gloves but then I took off the gloves like at the end and I literally just ran my hands through my hair and they ended up turning purple. Like, I don't know if it's from like a holographic powder or something like that what sort of glitter she uses because I mean I probably wouldn't be too persnickety about it but just because I do my nails myself and I know I've never had that problem but thank goodness I have bought a second pair of the nails you can see how much the color difference like actually changed like they're a total different color they were that pink and now they are purple I mean if I didn't already promise these to you guys in a giveaway, I'd keep them for myself because I quite like the purple to be honest. I think it's nice. But I will hold true to my word. I will give you guys a pair for the giveaway. <laughs> but yeah, another thing I noticed, again, just nit nitpicking because I too am a nail artist myself. So I noticed all of the nails aren't smooth. So when I do chunky glitters normally I will take a nail file and file it down so it's smooth and then I do like two top coats over top so like it's super smooth see like maybe one or two of these nails are smooth enough for my liking the rest like I can feel grainy sort of like glitters and that bothers me I mean yeah normally when I do my own nails I do two top coats and like I cannot feel that like I use gel nail polishes myself too and that's just a pet peeve of mine because I sort of get cold chills and like want to throw up I'm like Bleh. <laughs> every time I touch that like grainy texture I just hate it like that's a personal pet peeve of mine and I just thought I would let you guys know I can easily fix it though because I've got some gelish clear top coat I can just throw over the top and because she says they are a gel formula. It shouldn't cause them to peel or anything. So we'll see. I'll let you guys know. But yeah. Um, also with the nail tabs. That lasted me like a whole like two hours. So I ended up redoing this hand. And glue gluing them all on with the nail glue. I haven't had any on this hand break though. So they've lasted pretty well. Again it's only been two days. So yes. I will see you next time. Bye! Thank you so much. I hope that you enjoyed watching my unboxing and re review. A little bit of a tutorial how you can um, put on your very own Tracy nails. And one lucky subscriber of mine is actually going to win in my little giveaway. I'm gathering some little like makeup products and just like my favorite makeup, just kawaii things in general. I think I'm even gonna make a pair of ears and a collar or something really cool just to include in the giveaway as well. If you'd like to know more details about the giveaway, make sure that you're subscribed to my channel as well as my Instagram page which I'll link down below because I'm going to place all the details on how you can enter via Instagram. So it's going to um, be just like a photo that you share and reblog and that will be that with the giveaway. But yeah, when I confirm like all the details and stuff and when I actually like launch the giveaway I'll let everyone know. <laughs> that was that and yeah I'm super excited to wear out some Tracy nails and do like a whole look with them. I can't wait. These nails are so stunning. Oh my gosh. Like, I swear, the most beautiful thing I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> but thank you so much for watching and banging out with me. <laughs> I will see you next time.